Welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and before we get into this video, I want to remind you, we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers, and if we somehow get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we'll give away a special collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. We'll also give away the Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED edition, a pin from PAX East, and more. I know we're getting close, guys. There is no way to actually enter the giveaways yet. They're going to be done through two different methods. One's going to be a standard entry form, and then we're going to have additional entries, or I should say additional giveaways, that we're going to do during a special 100,000 subscriber live stream. We don't have dates on when any of this begins yet because we haven't hit our goal. So why not help us out, drop a like, leave a comment, and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel so we can get really close to 100,000 subscribers. Today, I thought it would be a fun day on April 8th, a Saturday. We are, we are, you know, only so many Fridays to go before Tears of the Kingdom comes out to talk about the Zonai. And believe it or not, with all of the Tears of the Kingdom videos I've done on my channel, we have never actually talked about the Zonai, which played a potential role in Breath of the Wild that we don't fully understand because most that we don't learn about the Zonai in there is basically just a bunch of runes about a time from the past that we don't really get a lot of exploration into. Now, we've had a lot of fan theories about it. We've had deep dives in the art books and all these different things. But what is very clear in Tears of the Kingdom is the Zonai play a role, probably a significant one, given that when you defeat a construct, one of the first basic enemies in Tears of the Kingdom, it drops an item called a Zonai Charge, which really starts to make you think all of the abilities, Link's messed up arm, and then everything else in this game could be based around the Zonai. Now, we don't have confirmation that that's the case, but it seems highly likely. So what I wanted to do today was go to a pretty big website, a, a big website for gamers anyways, and look at an article they recently created about the Zonai and where they're talking about fans talking about the Zonai in regards to Tears of the Kingdom. And I want to see how not only how good the article is and, 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 and what they've summarized from fans, but I want to discuss a little bit of the things that they talk about. So we're gonna head over to Kotaku.com and as you can see here, it says, who are the mysterious Zonai? Zelda Tears of the Kingdom fans can't stop talking about. This information on the tribe is scarce, but Zelda fans try to put the pieces together. And this was written by Kenneth Shepard yesterday. So it says, the legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is almost here. And from the looks of it, the enigmatic faction called the Zonai may play a big role in the sequel after mostly existing in the background of Breath of the Wild. If you're feeling like you're walking in on something or like you missed a big plot beat in the last game, don't worry. Despite a lot of theory crafting over the years, even the biggest Zelda fans don't have a lot of concrete details as to who or what the Zonai were. But let's break down what we do know and why fans think the Zonai are being primed as a key player in Tears of the Kingdom. And again, let's see how well this article goes because we really don't know much about the Zonai. So, what do we already know? In Breath of the Wild, Zonai are described as a tribe that no longer exists within Hyrule, but their nature is seemingly up for debate within the game's world. They're described both as a savage tribe of barbarians, as well as powerful magic users who worship animals, specifically Feroche, a water dragon that can be found in places like the Gerudo Highlands. Traces of their existence are visible in places like the Zonai Ruins in the southern area of the map, with long-abandoned architecture hinting at their reverence for Hyrule's wildlife. In the lore and art book The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, creating a champion, it's revealed the animals prominently featured in what's left of the Zonai's home reference the three pieces of the Triforce, a dragon for courage, an owl for wisdom, and a boar for power. Beyond the animals, the Zonai also have their own crest resembling a spiral, which is seen on architecture associated with the tribe. Beyond that, Link can acquire a barbarian armor set in Breath of the Wild, believed to be worn by members of the Zonai long ago after navigating specific labyrinths implied to have been built by the tribe. While it all fits together, much of what we know about the tribe is speculation fostered by the game's ambient storytelling. It's still very minimalistic, from software style like approach to world building and largely rewards those who want to explore the game's big world. However, it might be paying off for all of us in Tears of the Kingdom. So again, there's not a lot known. That's a pretty good summation of the details that we have from Breath of the Wild. So credit to Kotaku for doing a pretty good job summarizing what we do know in Breath of the Wild. 
So why do fans think Tears of the Kingdom will involve the Zonai? Well, the theories that the Zonai would be a major player in Tears of the Kingdom have been prevalent since the game's reveal in 2019 because of the focus on the spiral motif central to Zonai architecture. However, the connection is much more concrete now thanks to the most recent gameplay showcase. During the stream, Nintendo revealed the Zonai are tied to events of Tears of the Kingdom through a piece of loot. In the 10-minute gameplay trailer, Link defeats an enemy in the Floating Sky Islands, and it drops an item called a Zonai Charge. The video doesn't linger on the item, but it clearly has the same green energy seen to power the machine-like enemies Link is fighting. The broken seal around Ganon are seen in the original trailer and Link's corrupted glowing arm. Again, this is why, obviously, we think Zonai matters. So, will we meet the Zonai in Tears of the Kingdom? Given how quiet Nintendo has been regarding Tears of the Kingdom's story, it's hard to say whether or not Link will actually come across a member of the Zonai tribe. Given the group seems to have been entirely gone from Hyrule and Breath of the Wild, with the only information we have on them coming from theories and their remaining architecture, it seems most logical that the Zonai have been wiped out or have gone into hiding. But even so, their technology and magic are still present and causing trouble for our hero in Tears of the Kingdom. All that being said, it's not entirely out of the question that some may have survived and have been waiting for the events of this game to reveal themselves. The series is no stranger to time travel, with it being a key pillar in games like Ocarina of Time and Oracle of Ages. So there's a chance Link could come face-to-face -face with the Zonai during their prime, but that's not confirmed. Yeah, there's lots of theories around the time travel aspect of that that could be in Tears of the Kingdom. Also, we didn't have access to the Sky Islands, so who the hell knows what exists up there? Wait. How does Twilight Princess play into this? I'm very curious about this. Like most of the possibilities discussed here, the connection between The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and Tears of the Kingdom is still speculation. But fans believe they found connections between the Zonai and the Twilight, who were introduced in Twilight Princess. Breath of the Wild incorporates several tribes and species from the series' lifetime, from the Sheikah to the Zora. The Twilight, however, are notably absent. But given the similarities to architecture and magic seen in Tears of the Kingdom, of that of the Twilight, fans speculate that the Zonai could be the original race that was turned into monsters by Zant in Twilight Princess. There are even some breakdowns of iconography and sigils throughout Breath of the Wild that do closely resemble imagery in Twilight Princess. It's all theory crafting at this point, and Breath of the Wild itself doesn't do much on its own to directly make this possible tie-in apparent. So don't feel like you completely missed out on a potential connection. This is all fan interpretation for now. Yeah, the, the whole Zonai and Twilight thing is a very popular fan theory. I'm really glad they did touch upon it. Again, we don't have definitive evidence, but it's a fun theory to think about. So whatever the Zonai are, it does seem like there will at least be part of Tears of the Kingdom's larger setup. Whether we actually meet one remains to be seen. We'll find out when the game comes to Switch on May 12th. And what I will say at this point is... I don't want to dive like heavy into art book spoilers and stuff. I, I know I've, I've covered a few things from the art book already. But what I do want to point out is there are some particular characters or one particular character, at least in the art book, that appears to be a Zonai, if I'm not mistaken. Again, we don't 1,000% know that it is, you know, a, a, a Zonai, but I breathe pretty heavily implied that it's a member of the Zonai. So whether or not we actually get to meet this person in the game i don't know but the fact that they had fully fleshed out art makes it feel possible if you've seen the art book you know who i'm talking about again i don't want to show it because it potentially is a major spoiler for this game on who this person is but look i don't know what's going on with the zonai in this game they are one of the most mysterious tribes in hyrulean history and we have a lot of mysterious tribes in in, in hyrule but this one really takes the cake and what i want to know is what are your favorite theories surrounding the Zonai, both in Breath of the Wild, before Breath of the Wild, and here in Tears of the Kingdom? Sh share those favorite theories of yours down in the comments below, and who knows? Maybe one of them is so crazy, we'll do a follow-up video showing, showing off my favorite community theories on the Zonai. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you in that next video.